What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm gonna to be covering ticker symbol PLTR. I really wanna cover this stock because it's got a huge catalyst coming up next week. It is Demo Day. Demo Day is gonna be happening on April 14th for Palantir. And really the huge thing that I wanna talk about is what to expect leading up to this day. And what we saw today within Palantir was a very bullish move. And I think this is going to be a pattern leading into demo day because of Palantir winning the safer contract. So I'm hoping that we have a nice run up here. I plan on buying a few call options and then probably a couple of puts after the demo day is over because as the famous people say, you buy the rumor, you sell the news kind of thing. So you got to make money on the way going up and then on the way down because that's how a good trader makes their money and that's how i prefer to do it so but if you can before i dive into technical analysis and all that kind of stuff hit that like button for me make sure that it turns blue and then make sure you hit that subscribe button also and make sure that the subscribe button's gray if the subscribe button's red just give it a quick poke for me and make sure that it turns gray greatly appreciate it i'm on my way to the journey of a thousand subs and every single sub counts for me so greatly appreciate it guys so let's go ahead and dive on here into the chart. So really, the huge thing is Palantir sold off quickly into the morning, but we pretty much had a bull rally the rest of the day when we take a look at this. And we had a low of 22.74 here, and then we, had, we have our high of 23.60. And the huge thing was we did have our resist we did have our level of support here at 2280 we did break through it but we did reclaim it very quickly because the stock was not very comfortable being below this price action the two times that it was below it and when we reclaimed it we didn't see it for the rest of the day which was a great sign so really the huge thing that i'm taking a look at here is when we take a look at the five day because on Wednesday, we had our nice run up of Palantir getting announced of the contract and winning the contract and everything like that. And as you can see, we won the contract and then we just sold our complete momentum off. Like we sold everything off of that run up and, and then some really. But when you take a look at today, we sold off, but when we rallied, our sell-offs weren't greater than what our rips were, which is really good because that means we're setting higher lows as we're having these movements down. And that's a very bullish indicator for the stock. Now, the only thing that I really don't like about the movement today was when I'm taking a look at this MACD, we're kind of overextended here. It's not, we're not hugging tight. We're not moving very quickly, but I'm not surprised because when Palantir moves and has news catalysts like this of winning the contract and then we have demo day next week, April 14th, I'm not going to be surprised if we see a very, very quick move and finishing up 2.23% on the day. That's great for this stock and I really like it. The huge thing that I like even more is when we sold off into the close in the after hours, we actually tried to retake some of the momentum. So there is definitely a very bullish sentiment going on with Palantir right now, leading, leading in the demo day next week. So that's really, let's zoom out here to the five day. So as you can see, we did have several run-ups, but we just kept selling off and we weren't able to keep these sustained rallies. So the huge thing that I'm looking for tomorrow is, all right, we had a rally today. Are we going to just consolidate tomorrow or are we going to give it up or are we going to have another bull rally? And personally, I think we're going to be having another bull rally because I think we're going to be going, we're going to be headed in a very bullish direction into demo day next week. So I personally am predicting that the stock is going to run is going to run up and probably test close to $24 tomorrow. If we can retest $24 and turn in the support, it'll be a great way and it'll make me very happy headed into the weekend. And it will make me not make me not dread Monday because the only day the only reason why I look forward to Monday is because the stock market's open. So but looking here at the five day 
that was the huge thing is when Palantir had its rips, we just kept giving everything back and then some. So we kept making those lower lows kind of thing. And we had a trend reversion today. And I'm hoping that this sticks with Palantir. So if we look here at the one month, one hour, you can see the stock literally back in the middle, middle of last month was trading at $27 and here we are at $23. So we have plenty of momentum to go and we've got news catalyst behind us that should be driving our movement in an upwards direction. Now the huge thing, so when we take a look at the RSI, the RSI is sitting at 61. So we're sitting pretty heavy above neutral, borderline breaking on bull territory. I consider bull territory anything above 70 because that's pretty much overbought. So now if we do take a look here at the MACD, we do have the MACD symbolizing that we are in bullish territory by the MACD crossing over the signal here and then also crossing over the equilibrium. So from a very macro perspective, we are looking at bullish territory. And personally, I think Palantir going in the going into demo day next week is going to have a very bullish run in I personally can't wait for it because it's been a long time since Palantir has re-seen $24, $25 because of this market correction. It's been pretty much hammered down by it. So that's all I got really, guys, for you today. If you have any questions about Palantir, just drop them down in the comment section. If you can, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, remember to ring that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.